today I'm here with the amazing Dr. Sama at Biolite. You guys probably have seen him on the Biolite Instagram. He is our amazing plastic surgeon who has just fixed my ear. I want to discuss my nose because obviously you are the best. I've seen your work, I love your work, and I think I'm finally ready to fix it. So let, let's talk a little bit about what's bothering you in the nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it's the tip, mm -hmm. and then, I mean, that's like the main thing, because like whenever I smile, it like droops down, yes. but then I also have like... Wide the, nostrils. Yeah, and I really want those smaller. Okay, so overall, the no, your nose is, is small, it's not big. It's just the tip, it's a bit hanging. Yeah. And this we can fix. Uh, when you smile, like you said, the nostrils, we can just tighten tighten them in a natural way. Okay. We don't want the nostrils to... I mean, they can be tiny. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't need them to breathe. Okay. So we're discussing a revision of the tip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it, I mean, I examined you before. Yeah. We just need a small lift and to stabilize it because we want the result to stay permanent. We don't want something like... Looks nice for a year. Yeah, and then like it fillers. So you don't think I need to do anything else to like the bridge? No, no. It looks really smooth, really good. It's just the tip. Okay. Only the tip. M minor changes. Okay. Yeah. And how long do you think like recovery will be? Like, uh, there will be like some swelling? stitches for one week. Mm -hmm. And then uh, swelling is n nothing important because it's just the tip. So you will not have any bruising. Oh. There will be no cast on the nose. Okay. Uh, just a tape and some, uh, some stitches. So go back to social life after a few days. Yeah. And uh, without anything after the one week. Oh my God, fantastic. So when can we do this? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this now. This is done in a hospital. Yeah. The vision of the tip is done in a hospital, not in a clinic. Yeah, so under general anesthesia, yeah. I'm going to be out cold. <laughs> we'll film the whole process. That'll be a fun video. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm excited. Great. Thank you, Great. thank you so much. Welcome. I'm gonna schedule now <laughs> when I can do my nose. 48 hours until my surgery. First preparation for the surgery is the ozone IV therapy. This is an amazing treatment. It's an IV drip almost, kind of. I mean, your blood gets extracted, it gets put into this little bubble where it gets infused with oxygen and then re transfused into your bloodstream and this happens about 10 times it's going to clean my blood clear my blood and it's going to help me in so many different ways but the main reason i'm here is because it's going to help me with any infections and it's going to lower my risk of getting any infections as well as just make sure that i'm all healthy for my operation i'm actually going to show you footage from last week when i did it because i had a videographer with me so see you in a bit what are the benefits of this treatment? A lot. Yeah. Um, for wound healing, if the wound healing will take five days, it will only, if you do the ozone, it will only take like two to three days. Oh. So it speeds up the... My ear. <laughs> my ear. <laughs> yeah, I, I cut up my ear yesterday. <laughs> okay, and then um, this is also good if you want to, give, to get pregnant. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So let's see if you have, I don't think you have cholesterol. <laughs> I don't know what cholesterol is. <laughs> what is that? It basically cleans your blood. Okay, update. Um, my blood is moving into this little, what did you call it? Egg. Egg. <laughs> egg. It's moving to, into an egg. Well, give us an update. Okay, so we've done like five passes. <laughs> oh, look, look, the blood's going. No Get that. Yeah, no cholesterol, woo! Oh, it's finished. Yeah, so we just finished doing five passes. It is a pretty long procedure because my blood is very dehydrated. I am dehydrated, haven't eaten. I've been fasting, only just drunk a bit of water now to ensure that the treatment works. But overall, painless, would definitely recommend and come back to do this again. So next time you have to have your meal. Yeah. And have more fluids before you come. Oh, will that make it faster? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should jump on this guy. <laughs> I'm not trying to live a long life, I'll be honest with you. I want to die soon. Why? The world is ruined. So, you, like, once you're dead, you're dead. That is true. 
I have this one friend, she's like an um, environmentalist. I know, shocking for me to be friends with an environmentalist. <laughs> We've been friends since birth, so she's, you know, she's one of those. And she's like, the world is a horrible place. We need to take care of this earth. And then Elisa and I are like, you know what, we're gonna die, whatever. <laughs> Looks phenomenal. Why does it look black? Ew, look at that cholesterol. Less than 24 hours until my surgery and I'm going to get my blood drawn and tested today. I'm so tired, but I'm excited. I cannot wait to see my new nose. I'm over this one. Blood test done. I also did a COVID test, which it was um, fun, haven't done one of those in a while. Now I need to start my day, I have a whole list of things to do. Uh, I also need to get rid of my nails, but I think I'm gonna do them tonight. I don't know what I'm doing, I need a coffee, I need to actually get a coffee in me, I'm not functioning right now. Okay, so we're just doing pre-op picks, and then tomorrow I've got Okay, look up. Look down. Enjoy it today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not enjoying it. Tomorrow the surgery is at 8.30. So today's your last day with his nose? Yes, my last day with this ugly nose. I'm so excited. This is, yeah, this has been a long time coming. I'm no longer going to have this. Holly Beak situation, I'm just done with that. <laughs> and I won't have to do this. And I won't have to cover my nose or my face when I smile, because like, I love laughing, I love smiling, but it's just like... What is it that you're getting rid of? This bit. It's gonna be like this. It needs uh, to stay like that. More pointy. No, I just lifted. Oh. Okay, now, because I'm getting my nose done tomorrow, we need to do an extraction. I am not going to be able to get my extraction done for a very long time. So today we're doing the Diamond Glow Facial and I follow that up always with a photo facial because it just helps my skin so much. I do love the IPL. I also love lasers, but let's just do a quick extraction. I've not had an extraction for at least a month now. So I just had my facial just finished my consultation. This is the last consultation before my surgery tomorrow. It's at 8.30, so I need to be in by 7.30 in the morning. I have a whole list of do's and don'ts. So no food for a minimum of eight hours before. No smoking and no alcohol before eight hours. And water I can drink up until three hours before, but I'm probably gonna be passed out by then anyways. Um, remove all jewellery, false teeth, can't really do that with veneers, but with dentures you can. Nail polish, acrylic nails, contact lenses. I even took out my lashes because they tape your eyes sometimes and then when they peel them off, like your lashes, like, it's just not the vibe. I need to have a family member or friend stay with me prior to surgery. Please shower before surgery. And then I need someone to pick me up. Am I the family member or friend? No. <laughs> I'm just taking my mother at 7 a.m. I'm just very excited to have my perfect nose. It's, it's been 10 years almost since my first nose job and that went horribly wrong. One hour till my surgery. I'm just pulling up to the clinic now and I'm so excited. I've got my mum in the back with me and <laughs> I don't know how long the surgery is going to be. They did say three hours, but since it's not a full rhinoplasty, I don't think it's going to be three hours. Okay. And uh, this one, the one should be at the back, all okay. right? Back. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, shit. sorry. Do you have nail polish remover? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I completely forgot to take off my nail polish. Adjust it. I don't really want to be touching anything in my face. So 
this is all for me. It's my cannula, which gets inserted. I just don't want to touch anything. But then she bought me some nail polish remover. gonna relax me and then I'm getting strolled in to the <laughs> When did I wake up? <coughs> I said it was two and a half hours long. I'm not in much pain to be honest. I'm on I'm on morphine so that's probably why. And I feel Great. I don't have anything inside my nose because we didn't alter the bone or the bridge. I just have this and a cast just to make sure the swelling goes down. I'm going to have to drink lots of fluids. Um, but, ow. I'm like that guy from that uh, movie, the Adam Sandler movie where he's a plastic surgeon. <laughs> and then from the eyebrows down, dead. Dead. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Yeah, I feel great. I packed my laptop. I packed. I'm not too sure how long I have to be here. I'm definitely not staying. I hate staying in hospitals. The stitches hurt. I might need to get some more tramadol. Need some morphine to take home, please. I also got myself. I made myself a a bread and butter sandwich but the food at the hospitals usually suck so I always pack my own food I say always as if like I come so frequently mm -hmm. so much for bringing me gym and the juice I got the sports juice which is apple pineapple and passion fruit so I got a chocolate muffin a juice and I bought myself a packed lunch brown bread with butter and some cold cuts. I also packed my laptop because I knew TV is usually dead, food is usually dead. Thank God for delivery. Thank God for caring friends, family. Um, yeah. This is just an update of what I look like currently. I have actually seen what my nose looks like in a picture and I am so excited to see how it looks on my face. So gave me a QV lip balm. I brought my Emirates toiletry bag and it has everything I need in it. I just discovered I have photo booth on my mat. I have not used photo booth since I was in an IT lesson in year 10. Honestly, this was just me on my photo booth. 24 hours post-op. I have changed this sausage under my nose several times. I'm out of breath because I'm actively trying to stay active because I am so bloated from the gas and air, the antibiotics. Barely slept through the night, but I also slept quite a bit throughout the day yesterday. In and out of sleep, which is, I mean, I have no other plans. I've got nothing to do, so it's fine. I put oil in my hair yesterday because I had zero intention of showering for the next few days. I mean, fully showering. So I was like, you know what? Let's just utilize this time to actually oil my hair. And I've got my cryo spoons. These are Biolite ones. And I just put them on my eyes. I do have ice packs, but to be honest, I prefer these. It's not been hard because it isn't a full rhinoplasty. I can see if I take off the bandage and look up my nose, I've been cut here as well as again from 
both nostrils. My nostrils itself are super swollen, so barely any air is getting through them, if any, because I'm so like bunged up. I'm sure you guys can hear, like I'm so clogged up. My nose is just constantly dripping if I don't have this on. So this is just catching all the mucus. I'll update you as we go along. But I'm really surprised I don't have any bruising or heavy swelling. Although I was reading somewhere that you should really eat pineapples before because pineapples have bromelain, bromelain in them which helps reduce swelling and inflammation. Drink pineapple juice every morning and every evening. I went through a phase where I was actually intolerant to pineapples and now I'm able to eat pineapples again so I literally eat them every day. I love pineapples and I love juicing pineapples with like a bunch of different things. So. No, I genuinely thought I would be giving Sophia Richie with this hairdo, but it's giving egg. It's giving hard boiled crusty egg. Day three, post-op. And honestly, I'm okay. The hardest part was yesterday. 24 hours after surgery is, well actually 48 hours post-surgery is the hardest. I'm not gonna lie. This is just to prevent drippage. Dripping, she's dripping a lot and I'm congested, talking is difficult. I'm feeling a bit better. I'm not feeling worse. I'm not feeling better, actually. No, I'm feeling better. I'm not feeling as worse as I did, as I did yesterday. I'm still very congested, but not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was horrific. Yesterday was probably the worst day for me. My mouth can barely move. I don't have any bruising, just a little bit of swelling. So my skin's, my skin is doing okay. Eyebrows are not doing great. I do also want to let you guys know that I have actually gained three kg since this operation. I don't know why I'm severely bloated as well. I'm like so bloated. I put a waist trainer on yesterday because I was like, oh my God, I'm huge. Why do I look six months pregnant? So I squeezed on a waist trainer and that was like almost impossible to do and that's never happened to me. So I think obviously I'm having a reaction to the antibiotics as well as the anesthesia, but it's fine. You know what? Your body goes through these processes. I put my body through this. I decided that beauty was more important than my health at this point in my life and I mean I've been doing lots of treatments for my health and wellness anyways it could have been worse because obviously I'm on supplements I feel like the supplements have helped alleviate as much pain as possible I'm going for my consultation with Dr. Samer this is the post-op consultation he's gonna have a look at my nose and just make sure that the wounds are clean and everything is good and I'm doing what I should be doing. I don't feel pain, just congestion, which is a bit annoying. And also sleeping has been a nightmare because I literally sleep on my face. And I like sleeping without a pillow. I hate pillows. They really strain my neck. So I've had to sleep upright. I'm even considering sleeping on the couch. I'm excited. I also keep sneezing. Yeah. And if you want to sneeze, you have to sneeze like this. Do not sneeze with your nose. Not for at least a month. So sneeze with your <coughs> mouth. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so nice. I can't. Oh my god, you're gonna love it. Oh my god. <laughs> No, don't look yet. Not I'm yet gonna show you what the mix the reveal. I'm the reveal the viewer. <laughs> yes, that means it's golden. Alright. Give her the mirror, please. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> that is perfect. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and it doesn't move. So this is gonna, it's gonna be more. I mean, I can't look at it because of the lip. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the grin. No, that is, is perfect. Yeah, this yeah, is. Uh, oh my god, look at my cute chin. Like this your one. Before. Yeah, it was really swollen before, and then. Thank you so much. It's literally like how my. Do some lasers for this. Yeah, that's okay. Because they were pretty bad to begin yeah. with. I mean, my first note was picking at it. <laughs> We should cover it again for a few days. Yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. So we usually uh, remove the, uh, this at one week. Uh, till the weekend. Okay. Till the weekend. Saturday, Friday. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you so much. Think you're going to like it, Eva? No, I do. I really love it. Just one thing, I noticed the scars were really showing. Yeah. Okay, so it's a quality of skin. Uh, better to, I guess, exactly. one month, two months start with it. It's better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to put the cast or just the tape? No, just the tape. Okay. Oh, okay. No, it's easy to. You can go out uh, just you know, just the tape. It doesn't show a lot. Everyone's like, so where did you know? I'm like, oh, um, bye bye. You keep using the spray, the sprays till one one week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just the saline, you can use it for one month. Okay. Uh, Fusidine also for a few yeah. days. Antibiotic also till it. It's uh, usually seven days. Yeah. So it's a Saturday, Sunday. So after Saturday, Sunday, you stop everything except for physical. Okay. So I know this is so similar now. Mm. Like mine looks like that right after. Yeah. So cute. It's so cute. Thank By you so much. By next month it should be much, much better. I know I'm already so happy. Mm. I love it. For my next visit. <laughs> Thank you. Am I done? Wait, yeah. I am obsessed. My new nose. Before post op, I'm driving. I'm going to get a blow dry because I've had oil on my hair for the past four days, and I think it's time I actually like wash my hair. I have showered. I've showered every day since. In fact, no, that's a lie. I didn't shower on the second day because I was just exhausted and just out of it. But I've basically put the little bandage thing under my nose again, although it's not necessary. I just needed it because I'm dripping so much and I don't want to be in the salon having to like blow my nose constantly. Even though I can't blow my nose, I just don't want to be sniffling and be that person in the salon. So I'd rather just look like a wounded parrot than be annoying. Okay, remember how I said I'm just going for a blow dry? Well, I got a blow dry, but I also, um, I hacked off half my head. <laughs> She was like, you have really dead ends. Maybe we should trim them. I was like, yeah, okay, hang on, trim. Me assuming trim meant like this much. Because like I was really proud of how long my hair had grown. Finally reached the tits. It wasn't great. It wasn't thick, but she'd finally reached there after like years of growing. My head just doesn't grow. She showed me how much she was taking off. And then I was like, you know what? Fine, just do it. I don't care. At this point, could I get any uglier? I mean, I just, I look like I've been punched in the face. I feel bloated. I feel heavy. I feel gross. I have lashes. I have extensions. I just need to like embrace this new ugly me. Post surgery depression is a real thing. She's feeling clapped. I want to go look at pictures of myself and remind myself. I'm not actually ugly. I'm not. My hair will grow. My hair is gonna grow. Okay, I'm officially seven days post-op. It's been a full week. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Yesterday, I went out. I went out. I could have easily gone out without my bandage, put some makeup on and been like, me being me, I did my makeup and put the bandage on because I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna sacrifice my healing process just because I want to go out. But I'm also not gonna sacrifice a good night out with my friends. It's giving toxic behavior, but I have seen my nose without the plasters on and I'm very happy with it. It's giving Disney princess. It's giving me everything I wanted it to and more. Right now, she's still very swollen. I still have my stitches in, which look like little bogeys. A bit frustrating because everyone I speak to, I'm like, yeah, you know, being small and they're looking down or rather right up my nose. The swelling has reduced substantially on the inside so I can finally breathe. <laughs> I mean, there's still a bit of congestion. I'm still a bit bunged up, but it's not as awful as it was before. One thing I like doing when I get an itchy nose, which by the way, I've had a very itchy nose and I can't pick my nose. I can't scratch the inside of my nose because my fingers don't physically fit inside my nostrils right now. Not because they're too small, but because they're too swollen. Also don't want to really be getting any bacteria in there. So what I like to do is I like to just like twirl up a little piece of tissue and I just shove them up my nostrils and I just twirl them around in there. Also, one thing I do want to touch on, one thing I was very concerned about post surgery and why I was putting this off for so long was obviously I didn't want to go to the wrong surgeon I went to a fantastic surgeon Dr. Sama is a genius he's given me the perfect nose I'm so happy with the results but also I'm severely allergic to latex a lot of bandages and adhesives contain latex or like zinc oxide I'm allergic to that too 
and I was like, what am I gonna do with my healing process? This is probably why my nose dropped in the first place. When I first did my initial nose job, I wasn't told anything about like taping my nose. I had no idea. The surgeon literally just did not care. There was also not a lot of information out there about what to do, or maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But taping your nose is super important for at least a year post-surgery. So I'm gonna be doing this every night or when whenever the hell I'm at home and I've not got makeup on or I'm just chilling, I'm definitely gonna be taping my nose. Taping the nose is key to ensure that the shape and the structure holds and then it also helps reduce swelling. You have to tape it quite tight. So I managed to actually find a tape called micro pore tape. I'm hoping this will help anyone else that has this kind of allergy. It's really frustrating because it genuinely feels like ants, tiny poisonous ants crawling under your skin. It's just, it's so painful. It's probably one of the most frustrating feelings ever, especially when you're trying to heal your nose, you develop like an onset allergy, a rash on your nose. It's very frustrating. It happened to me the first time. Fortunately, this tape, which is called micropore hypoallergenic tape has helped because it doesn't contain any of that like overly sticky adhesive, which is honestly better for the nose because I feel like whenever I take this off, I don't really need to use too much liquid. You guys will see the full result hopefully soon. I'm gonna try and keep this on for as long as possible because I don't want people to see my nose and be like, oh girl, Oh, babe, what did you do? Post Ryan Parsi, it's usually like that. You're like, oh, I'm looking like Shrek. It's because you're swollen. I'm super happy with it right now. To be honest, the swelling has come down a lot in the past week. Very pleased. Fortunately, I don't have any kind of like bruising under my eyes. There is a little bit of yellowness at the tip of my nose, which is bruising. Also, my skin is glowing. Considering the amount of medication I'm on, I'm surprised. One thing I do want to add, not super relevant, but if you do care, if you're like me and you're kind of against taking medication, unless you really have to, in this circumstance, I really did have to be on antibiotics and pain medication. Antibiotics are so bad for your gut. Yes, they do keep away like infections, but they stay in your gut and they can really harm your gut. So one thing I like to do is get my ozone IV therapy infusion and just clean my blood after I've finished my course of antibiotics. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm also gonna be doing lots of IV drips. I'm gonna be doing lots of lymphatic drainage because like I said, you're super swollen after surgery. I am very like body conscious, quite depressed for a while. Looking at my body, I was like, oh my God, what has happened? Lymphatic drainage has really helped. It's also amazing post-surgery to get all that water retention out of your body and help you get back into shape. I did a lymphatic drain yesterday and in a few days I'm gonna be doing another one, which is going to be a targeted face lymphatic drainage with a specialized laser. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen in my stories, I actually showed you guys. It helps speed up the recovery process faster, just help your blood circulation, it's phenomenal. Okay, I am officially two weeks post-op. I've taken off my bandages to show you guys what it looks like. If you were scared for me after the reveal, don't be because the swelling has gone down. I mean, it's not completely, this isn't the final result, but I am so happy with my nose right now. I wouldn't even mind if it just stopped going down. The swelling is mainly just localized this area, obviously, because that's what was fixed nothing on my bridge no bruising okay let me just let me just give you the profiles and when i smile oh the ugly face is about to be cute now i love pulling an ugly face guys like it is literally in my personality to pull the ugliest faces. But like, I was like, I don't wanna be ugly, ugly with the hanging nose. Like, it's just giving like evil. I want it like a cute, cute ugly, like a little nose scrunch and like a... I'm so happy. This is everything I ever wanted. This is exactly what I wanted out of my first nose job. Obviously I did it quite young, I was 18 and your nose continues to grow until forever. It's fine. Two nose jobs, well, one and a half. I really don't count this as like a full rhinoplasty. It is perfection. No, I don't think you guys understand. I'm obsessed with my new profile. Like, I just want to take all my pictures like this. The nostrils are still swollen. This is still swollen. It's still very hard. I do keep my tape on for at least 24 hours a day, minimum. I don't remove at night. My tape stays on throughout the night. If I'm not leaving the house, the tape is still on. Even if I do leave the house, I will either put makeup on and then put the tape on, or I will not put makeup on and put the tape on, depending where I'm going, depending on the vibe. I'm not too fussed. And honestly, 
The reception of the nose job in Dubai has been fine. People don't even stare. Finally, I've got the nose I always wanted. Yeah, let me insert my before and after. See, so the changes weren't a lot. It was literally just the tip, the nostrils. I was like, I just need my nostrils to come in. I need the tip to not sag. I need it to give cute, but not turkey Barbie doll pig vibes. It's just, <laughs> that's not the vibe for me. I wanted something natural and cute and not like, like a little feral animal. It's, it's no, it's, an, uh, it's a no for me with, with the little piglet noses. I do not like that look. I love a natural look. <laughs> A lot of people actually haven't noticed the difference, which I'm not mad about. I did tell my friends and they were like, wait, what did you actually do? I didn't want something which looked too obvious. I wasn't trying to change my entire face. I just got a bit bored of it. So I was like, let me just, let me do something. I just had my first facial post rhinoplasty again, two weeks. I did a laser peel and I cannot wait for the results. <laughs> Good, so we're uh, one month from the surgery. Yeah. How's your breathing? Breathing's okay. I haven't had much congestion. I mean, the first week I had a little bit. But um, yeah, I mean, I've used the saline spray mm -hmm. and that just helps get everything okay. out. But yeah, I'm so okay. happy. The result looks really, really good. Yeah, honestly, Even, it's cr so nice. Yeah. It's just one month, so it will still improve. But mm -hmm. already the, the lift is, is really nice. Yeah. The definition of the tip is smaller. Uh, the scars are a bit red and visible, but that's that's totally normal. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks, it suits your face a lot. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. so much better. So you're happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like I don't feel like uncomfortable smiling because I think that was like my biggest issue when I'd smile and it will hang. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Even if it st uh, stays like this. Yeah, I'll be it's happy. <laughs> but it, it's going to still be... Um, slimmer? Slimmer. Okay, that's S fine. Slimmer, softer. But your recovery is really fast because mm. even the tip here, yeah. the skin is uh, soft. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Great. So it's been one month since I had my revision rhinoplasty with Dr. Sama and I am so happy with the results. It's absolutely perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted. And honestly, the recovery was so fast. I think I was in bed for about one day, two days, and then I was out. <laughs> um, obviously with my bandage, which I don't have to wear as much as I used to. For the first two weeks, I was wearing it 24 hours a day, and now I'm only doing it for 12 hours at night or whenever I'm not leaving the house and I can just put the bandage on. But the recovery process was very smooth and honestly painless. I would highly recommend if you are concerned about your tip or your nostrils, you want to do some minor aesthetic changes, definitely visit Dr. Sama at Biolite because he's amazing and he has such a gentle touch. I'm so pleased with my results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.